Well hello there, and just a, a quick one here. I've been flying this little Daytona GT90 around. Had some problems initially, got them sorted, flying really well, but I still had this little one nickel. And that was the fact that the battery voltage on the OSD would keep flashing. And I couldn't figure it out. It looked like it had quite a healthy battery voltage. It wasn't in an alarm state, why enough was it flashing? Now, a couple of times I'd come home and I'd had a look through it and I'd plugged a battery in and everything would look fine. But then I tried to figure out what was the difference between the battery I was plugging in here and the battery I was plugging in the field. And as generally speaking, the battery plugged in here is going to be in storage voltage. Quick demonstration. Okay, this one we've just charged up, so let's plug this in. And we're getting that flashing voltage. This is the normal ones I'd have uh, indoors, and this is storage charge. Let's plug this one in. Voltage is not flashing. So this told me something was different between the fully charged voltage and the storage voltage. And after having a bit of a search around on Google looking for similar problems, I couldn't find the exact one, but I saw someone complaining that his average cell voltage was looking wrong. And this led me to think, ah, I wonder if something's happening, to think it's on a different number of cells than it should be. So easy thing to do is to add that in the OSD. So let's jump into Betaflight and quickly do that. Okay, so we're plugged in here. I'm gonna connect in. Go to OSD. Add my average cell voltage. Save that. And now I'm gonna plug in my fully charged battery. And check it out. I've got a voltage there of 12.6, but the cell voltage thinks it's on 3.15 volts. Why is that? Well, if we go over to the power and battery tab, we can see that it's actually managed to think it's got four cells. So what it does, it takes the maximum cell voltage, divides it by the voltage it's getting, um, and if it comes to sort of more than three, it gets four. So what's happening in this case is the battery is reading slightly over. Um, it thinks that the max cell voltage is 4.2, which is relatively sensible. But if it's going over and going on to, uh, for example, the battery is reading at 12.8, it thinks it's a four cell battery. And then of course, if you divide 12.8 by four, you get um, a sort of warning voltage because your, your cells are dodgy. And that's where the problem is here. So. Two things really, I, and I actually think it's more normal to have 4.2 as your maximum cell voltage. So the first thing I might do is up this, just to make sure there's no issues with reading it. Um, save that. And then the second thing I'd want to do is actually calibrate the battery. So what I'm going to do is going to take a quick reading of that. Okay, I just put the bit of charge that I used in doing the tests back into the battery. And now I've got 12.6 uh, showing on the multimeter and this and the charger, so everything's in line. So I should be able to plug this in now and start messing with the scale value to, to get this right. So let's plug this in again while it's connected to beta flight. We'll see what we get. I'm on 12. It's on eight. So it was only out by one. Now, just as a test, if I unplug this one, uh, this is my storage charge battery, and this is currently reading at 11.4. Should be 11.4, 11.5. Just plug this one and see what we get. Eleven 11.4. That seems to work. So, I only change the scale by one, but click the saver for each time to get it right. And um, I, th I think whenever I've seen this before, it's already been at 4.3. This was set at 4.2, I think, from Diatone. Um, so that's probably worth keeping at 4.3. Anyway, we should just double check that when we plug this fully charged battery in, it looks good now. What I'll do is I'll turn my 
average cell voltage off because I don't care about that one because it's just dividing if you know if you can't work out what your main battery voltage needs to be when you land then I suppose an average cell voltage basically divides it by your number of cells and you know if you get to sort of 3.5 you should really be down so let's plug these guys in again and we'll start with our test one this is the storage charge battery Wait for yep, that's good. And then we go to my fully charged battery or fully charged minus a couple of milliamps, probably when it was just plugged in. And it's not flashing anymore. And there you go. So I've done this on the diatone, but of course, it relates to any quad you've got where if you've got that flashing uh, number, check how your max and minimum cells will divide up properly to see if that might be the problem. And you can always do things like adding the average cell voltage on there. But this should be all good now, so I'll go fly it some more as soon as uh, the snow goes away, which is completely shut down the UK this week. Catch you next video, bye for now. Well, you've made it to the end of the video, so thanks once again for watching. If you like what you saw, then please consider subscribing. And if you really like what you saw, then be sure to check out the link to my blog for a variety of ways in which you can help support this channel.